I still think Rona did nothing wrong because she's hot. Pretty privileged. It is what it is. Still kind of messed up what she did. But hey, we still handle the stuff in the arena. Makoto looks sick. Our students look sick. Everything is fine here. And the king of Irumi or whatever that part, the blonde guy, actually giga chat. I don't feel a single amount of empathy or sadness for that kid. The dad, I feel sorry for, right? The dad of the kid that took the, you know, the drugs and turned out like that. The, the dad, I feel sorry for. The kid, fuck that guy. Shitty ass fucking flashback. LL. But outside, outside of the arena. Now, this is a great opportunity for us to kind of just let people die, right? Because it's like, okay, demons are attacking. And like, should we save them? Why don't we just like let the... Uh, what's the guy? Uh, there was a guy. What's his name? Zaga? Zara or something? Remember the guild merchant master that we were kind of getting shit on? Like, why don't we just let his business just fucking die? And we just swoop in and save him and say, oh, I got you. After, you know, everything was, you know, stomped to the ground. I'd like to see something like that because I'm a petty motherfucker. Let's begin today's reaction, though. Kind of want to root to say, has our wakasama. But it's 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 Tomoe's. Agreed. I don't think he understands how strong he is. Listen, the entire fucking fandom of Skimichi Moon Fantasy that are just dumb hype monkeys like me have been begging for this. We're just like, please, Makoto, go in. And just fuck shit up. Enough, enough slice of life merchantry. Just get in there and fuck shit up. But like, yeah, he's true. We could have done this a long time ago. Two seasons in. Wait! This is really interesting dialogue. What? Values, huh? Major transformation soon. Major transformation in supporting the humans or the demons, that kind of mentality. Major transformation, we're gonna get a new fucking form. Beyond the mana, mana form. I think it's like kind of like personality shift, right? His own character, how he perceives the world and how he's going to act. This is getting hype. On the inside, yet. But this is the triggering, right? Really? Is that your goal? Root, Root, why? Why would Root just mention this? I, everyone fucking hates the goddess. Does Root have something against the goddess? Like, we fucking hate the goddess, but every time I hear the goddess's name, I go, Puh! disgusting. But like, yo, planning to kill the goddess one day, huh? And that's kind of crazy. Strong enough to actually kill the goddess implies that, like, the goddess is obviously the goddess. She's fucking insane. I just never thought that she was strong because she just kind of just fucks around up on heaven, whatever she does. And don't forget, there's also the god of earth, right? Well, not the god of earth, but the earth god that was like the god of moon or something. The guy that actually gave us our powers, right? Him. He said that he might meet us way into the future, right? After he takes a fat nap. I remember he, he said something like that in like season one, episode one. He's like, uh, I'm gonna meet you one day. Probably not for a while, though. I'm gonna go sleep. <laughs> Fall of the Academy Cities. That sounds like a great title. Fuck this city. The king, OP, dad, I feel bad for the dad. Prince, princess, prince, princess, prince, prince. prince. <laughs> nah, you can't afford us. You, you can't afford us, bro. Could he actually? He's a king. Mm. Oh, what, what do you want? <laughs> Diplomatic titty grab. This is gonna solidify relations with the king this way. He already sees this in a good light, and the and we already raised the crown prince or princess. So I think this is a dub for us. Nah, but I'm just gonna let some of the fucking guild merchants just die out there, like Zara. The hero? Hibiki. The hero. The hero. Do they have their own hero? This is Hibiki she's talking about? Or is it a totally separate hero? I don't... This might not be Hibiki or Tomaoki, right? This is a totally... Is it Hibiki? It makes sense, right? I... It would be cool if it was like a totally separate hero. But like... I don't know. Just the heroes of back when... It's, it's a he, right? Not a she. So it's not Hibiki. And it's not Tomaoki. It's someone else. And our dad is not... A, a summon, right? 
when he descended from the heavens. The wording here is very obscure. It's not reincarnation. It's not a summon. He descended from above. And our dad is also a native of this world that managed to go to Earth. And that's why he's a Grant. Gotta be someone totally different. Gotta be totally different. Don't worry about it. Joshua. Now, this is a Jessica, bro. This ain't a Josh. Feel bad for the dad still. I actually feel for this guy. Even some mental therapy, Kai. Well, that was a girl, right? <laughs> this, this. <laughs> she only wants to look good for Shiki. Even in the battle, she was only thinking about Shiki. Uh, you think she'll properly? You think that she'll get injured on purpose so that Shiki will like heal her like personally like this? I don't know. This is like this ship will never happen though. Shiki, I don't think he even rolls that way. You see, I don't think he has any interest in her. He's too busy glazing Makoto. I don't know. Teacher student relationship. Hi. Damn. What do you think, Makoto? <laughs> Karma. This is what I get for talking shit. This is what I get for talking shit. This is the end of our branch in <laughs> the fucking mage fucking city, bro. Dub. I mean, sorry, this is not a dub. This is a fucking massive L, bro. This is our, it's, it's, we finally start to expand our business, man. It's just fucking done. Bro, I'm surprised he's not like... This is like a comical uh, fall to the ground. He's not like upset like when... You remember like season one? When like little Tomoe died? Remember that shit? When Tomoe was also injured? I imagine he has that kind of fucking reaction to that, bro. So here's my, here's my headcanon about Aqua and Eris. They were able to um, escape with the most important goods at the store, right? Not, not everything was just wasted here. But they only saved the banana. Aqua and Eris evacuated only with the banana and nothing else the next time we see him. I think that would be hilarious. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Okay, everything has been evacuated. Demon continent. Red light district. Oh. oh. I don't remember ever visiting here. Yo, red light district? Like, I don't remember this shit. Amala's <laughs> consulting process. Does he have tentacles? He does have tentacles. Ah, this is pretty common to me, right? This is, this is pretty common. <laughs> Look at her eyes. Damn! Kid? I, Makoto's still staring! Look at the eyes! He's still staring, dude! He's still fucking... But, like, does he ever get like this when Tomoe's around? Or Mio? Mio doesn't really show cleavage. Tomoe sometimes did. And no, he did. So when Tomoe was in bed, too, when Mio was trying to, like, you know, seduce him in bed, too, whenever the, the skin was showing, he did act like that. But, like, damn, these are some big pairs. Anyways, bro, focus. Bro, focus. It's really cool how she's like, kid, get out of here. I'll handle this game. Really? Yeah, you would have fucking died there. I hope. <laughs> the women around here frequently purchase my energy. <laughs> okay, where are you going with this? Did the, did the ladies purchase that shit too? The ladies come from Makoto's Red Bull? Makoto's Monster? <laughs> It's just like a stupid monster. Looking like a predator. Like an alien versus predator. You know that movie? I don't know which one is which, but I remember one of them kind of has like dreadlock looking hair. It kind of reminds me of that monster. Poison. Oh, that was like self-destruct. Final move. I really have to appreciate this, man. Quite often in anime, they all have like a figure that looks like the letter 7, right? Because the top is very heavy, but there's no ass. Anime waifus, they're always just like, they got like triple Z cup, but the ass, it's a literal lamao. Laugh my ass off. Here, I gotta appreciate it, man. They gotta, they gotta do more of this in anime girls. Oh, you can sneeze at me, lady. Oh, Miss Portal. Miss Portal. No, 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 we can't tell us. 
あの人がまとめ役をしています私は紹介をやっておりますのでその関係で、oh, I am Mr. Kuzunoha. Kuzunoha. Kuzunoha ですふーんあんたがねエネルギードリンクスごひいきいただきましてありがとうございます<笑>ならないよ私のみんなを説得しとくよ助かりますこの騒動もいずれ解決すると思いますをかけてすまないね遅くなったけど私はエステルよろしくね If we get a name, does that mean like she's gonna be like a recurring character in the future? I hope so Douglas, this is a waste of a good design if she never comes back bro Nice 生徒の避難所は近くですみんなゆっくり休んでくださいね。What's up, Mio? 式は先に行きなさいな。あ思い出しました。ビジネスわかりました。では、お早めにこう。ビジネスさて。体制とかは得意な方ですから、感じるんですの。The kid is dead! ウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイ This is him, right? This is a blonde kid that turned into a blob at the very end, right? Even though we thought he was dead, there's like some signs of life left? Okay, okay. Oh, we're going. Is Mio gonna eat this thing? What's, what's Mio gonna do? Oh, please. Yeah, there he is. True. True. <laughs> Now what, though? It's like. He retrieved enlightenment, like tranquility. How? Who the fuck are they? Oh, the blue hair girl, the blue hair girl. This is so epic all of a sudden. What is this monologue, dude? You can make. This blob into an actual shield or metaphorically? Go back, go back, go back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a different Hibiki. Whoa, 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 whoa. She's the hero that descended upon Limia. You're talking about hero. That's not the Hibiki I know. Ah,、oh, it is the same Hibiki. Miu just didn't know. There's a misunderstanding. Because, like, what was this arc? This is like we found her and, like, we were doing cooking. We we're basically just cooking and teaching, but the, the identity never, never kind of said, huh? Dude, the emotional background music is actually so good right now. This is like, I. This is peak. This, like, enlightened, epic, deep monologue of him regrets and, and Mio, like, talking the sunset setting. Like, this is actually really fucking good, bro. <laughs> Someone's so powerless. I mean. It's a, it's a brand new hero, Mio. You gotta train them up. She's so ruthless. She's absolutely so ruthless. <laughs> Dude, this is punishment of living on and having some kind of atonement arc. Is she gonna make him live on? What's she gonna do? She just kinda cut him there, right? She just killing him? What? Oh, we're getting, we're getting Yandere Mio back. Yourself. Uh huh. Oh! This blob? I actually felt sad. I actually kind of started to root for this guy when he was having this like enlightened monologue about how he has all these deep regrets and you know, epic music play. And he was like, You think I give a fuck? Why are you telling me your life story, sir? This is a Wendy's. Get the fuck out of my face. It's pretty impressive I'm still alive. No, I don't think we even think about you. I hate him, but Makoto, like, he's such a nothing. Like, it doesn't matter. Mio just doing this because, you know, it's like petty revenge. You dare do this to, you know, Waka Sama. She's pettier than me, man. Nah, I'm hoping there's gonna be a follow up Tomoe scene. Aiden Lime Latte. There's Aquan Eris too. 
変異体に阻まれてしまうようですまさに陸のことをありましたよね<笑>まだ食料の供給は問題ないようですけど You are the fucking black hole You are the reason why we don't have food She's a fucking she just swallows everything です町の内外問わず相当数が仕込まれておりました Calm interference まく探知できませんでした申し訳ありません Set up by Rona and them? でも妨害されているの電話は問題ありませんわそれはわしらの電話が魔族の参考に組み合わせこの状況でも電話が使えとるんじゃろう、okay. なかなか考えられてるね Okay, the purple coats are actually so trash I, I, there's no way I'm gonna take the purple quotes seriously again. The purple quotes last episode were literally like introduced as like the strongest, like, you know, mages of the fucking academy. And they like, they got wiped in an instant. They were so bad that the author gave them the design of an NPC. They hid the entire face to make sure that, you know, we could just like have a quick sketch of these pieces of shit members. Like, they were so fucking bad. I have no faith in the remaining purple quotes. Other nations are coming in. The teleportation sword, it's a lie, but you know, that's what we went with. Actually, pretty smart. Bluetooth's idea. I'm like, Tomoe, you came up with that? That's fucking, fucking smart, but it's like. The evacuees are more demon interference. That's why. Irum Gando got skate a kubika kuri. Sono ken desga. De no jin tai jikken a karande ita yo des. Jikken tai ni sareta a jin. Sono tochira karamo. Do yo no yakhinga ken. I thought the only reason that we were okay with Rona coming here and fucking shit up was because she was actively looking for. The immoral human experimentations that she was trying to uncover while sliding drugs to random people. But it turns out it's actually connected. This is like she is involved in the research. I don't know. That I mean the same drugs are found in both, right? It seems the human experiments are connected to that same drugs are found in both. No, just a coincidence. Rona didn't enact this experiment. But the same drug is there, and now she might be utilizing the experiment. I don't know. Okay. 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 Like, doesn't this have to do with Makoto's, like, development as a character? Isn't Rona making a power play here? To kind of give him an out of, like, I know you're fucking pissed and all this stuff. I'm gonna let the demons out. Makoto, don't fuck with them. That's kind of what she said. So, it was her intention to make Makoto some kind of, like, stir something up? Or is there something, like, beyond that? I don't know. Maybe Makoto isn't the focus here. Maybe there's, like, a bigger plan by the demon. <laughs> Isn't it in their favor to take down a city where they have a magic academy where all the students, the humans would go to train? It would be in their favor to kind of like stop the cultivation of like a new generation of human magicians. I think that would also be very good, right? Bull? Who the fuck is Bull? Do we meet Bull? Am I forgetting? Maybe I'm forgetting, but I, 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 Bull? Who, who the fuck is Bull? It, it's a totally new character. That's just getting introduced now, right? I don't remember a Bull. Give me a cat pun. Give me a Nia. Completely new character being dropped, right? I, I don't remember. Fucking furry. Bro is fucking blushing harder at the fucking ears twitching here compared to, you know, Estelle's titties before in that fucking red dress. Alright. He likes some cats. Oh, hi, Yogo Zaymas. Waka Sama. Shoe Hen ni hei tai no kehai wa no sing. Ni go liu sri ya. Extermination forces. Oh. Ude ga naru zi. Tanon da yo. Oh, she. Fuck 
fucking Vulcan, right? She used to be an adventurer. Did she got a new drip out? She was using like a dagger like this. She had like a knife and she was like holding a reverse grip. So like, um, I'm going to assume that she was like some kind of like thief type and before. No, Let's see it. No, cameraman, go down. Cameraman, go down. That is the most, that is a lethal butt crack. That is like more butt crack than Shinon in SAO season 2 right now in GGO, bro. Shinon's butt crack can't even compare to Estelle's butt crack. The length of this butt crack is significantly longer. Who's the boss? Fuck up being a merchant. Let's just start, you know. Let's just start expanding. Let's get into the business of fucking whorehouses. Let's just have a fucking. <laughs> Just, what's the brothel? Who's no brothel, bro? Just, let's go. We'll have the merchant business too. And we'll have a brothel business. Let's fucking go, dude. Bye-bye, Estelle. Yo, what, what is the boss of a brothel? Let's let this guy die. I don't know who this is. Is this the principal of the school? I don't know who this is, but I'm totally fine with letting this guy die. Principal, yeah? I mean, you can do it though, Makoto. Oh, Lily. Mmm,ルリ。True. Step down, bro. You're an L headmaster. Bolded. Absolute trash. Use your employees or your students if you wish. That just implies that I don't give a fuck if they're in danger. Let them die. I don't care. Like, this guy actually sucks. He should. We should use him. We should fucking take him with us and fucking fuck fight the mutants. Not even help. Oh. There better be a great scene next episode where he's like dying we don't even help. <sighs> this is cursed. No, no, not Tomoki. Fuck that good. Tomato, dude. Tomiki. I will never say his name correctly. I'm, th I'm fine with Hibiki. I like Hibiki, but fuck this guy. Thank you so long. What's he doing? Your hero sucks. やっぱり友井が言ってた通りすでに各国が動き始めていたのか町のために全力を尽くしますのでありがとうございます。Yeah, can send yourself down. She didn't like that. I don't think she liked that. There was like a little that that, that, that brief like pause for like a second or two. She's like, ah, shit, I don't want that fucking dragon there. No, we should not remain calm there. Let him go down. What the fuck did I do to you? What? You're actually quite skilled. This place seems rather unimpressive at the first glance. Uh, thank you. Oh, it's not a compliment. She thinks that she just rizzed us. Maybe she is just LARPing, bro. Regardless of how. Burn the city down, bro. That's the episode, man. Man, oh, today was like actually set up too. I thought that the outcome of the mutants attacking, you know, the city and us saving them would be handled in a matter of an episode or two. But it's like, ah, dude, we're still fucking going. It's actually taking its time, which I actually enjoy because it's like I can savor the moments of, you know, the inevitable outcome when we fucking take out. Well, we don't take out, but maybe we let the mutants take out the other, you know, the Tower of the Guild or some shit. I'm just a petty motherfucker. I hope that happens. Now, I think my favorite moment of today's episode, it might be the Mio scene. Yeah, Estelle Booba, Estelle Booba. I see the fan service, but when this scene happened, the soundtrack being played, the sunset lighting, the fucking enlightened, tranquil monologue. And then Mio just saying, nah, fuck your redemption. I don't care. Let me just kill you. And then he's like, what? Did Makoto hate me that much? It's like, no, he doesn't even know you. This scene 
I think it's the soundtrack. I think it's the soundtrack and the brutality of Mio that we see sometimes, but it's been a while since we've seen Mio, you know, dish out ruthless insults, you know, and stuff like this. So dub Mio, Mio fucking clutched. The other stuff, the students were doing okay. We have to meet with the, there was a lot of different set up, right? So there was like the, the students, you know, um, you know, they're being congratulated. Uh, the, the fucking Hopres, you know, the Irumgard, yeah, King, daughter, Jessica, Joshua, whatever. We got to talk to later. Estelle, real nice. Moth you boss that's gonna be set up for later uh fucking lily that we gotta talk to later bull showed up out of fucking nowhere random cat he loves he loves cats and that's pretty much it i really don't like this motherfucker i hope the principal dies so i got two main targets i want uh i want the uh what's it called uh, bull, not bull no i want the principal to go down and i want czar to go down those two fucking suck i hope they fucking die and wait there was something else really important too there was something else when the king was talking to Makoto and talking about a past hero that descended, right? Descended from the heavens. And it is not Hibiki. said he. Translation error? I'm not really sure. But there was a hero back in the day that kind of reminds him of Makoto. Meaning that hero must have been ugly as fuck. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.